Hello, I'm Danny DeHeck from What To Heck Podcast. Now you'd be proud of me guys, I've actually, instead of saying this is my weekly podcast that I produce every six weeks, I've actually managed to do one within 10 days, so it's a new record. I'm trying to get more and more regular at doing my podcasting so that I can build my listener listeners and give them something to look forward to at least once a week from What To Heck Podcast. Not as easy as it sounds doing a podcast when you're talking to yourself when you're home alone with a microphone and a camera pointed in your face. So you have to be in the right mindset. And today I would like to flip over and show you in workshop mode the blog that inspired me that I wrote on Sunday and I'd like to share that with you. So if you go to my website Deheck.com, you'll see all my blogs. If you're on my YouTube channel and you've got a mouse free, please click on subscribe. I really appreciate your support. I'm on a mission to get a thousand subscribers at the moment so I can monetize my YouTube channel. So that'd be awesome if you did. Right, so I woke up on Sunday at any time I wanted and then I started um, getting ready for the day and I felt really good. And then I thought, you know, I want to share that feeling with people. So I grabbed my iPhone and I composed this blog. So I wrote this on Sunday, but the the blog is actually really about working from home. Um, The secrets on how to survive and thrive from the home office. Now, it's quite topical. It's a trending topic because a lot of people are now working from home. Wouldn't you agree? So that picture that you can see if you are looking on YouTube is actually me sitting there and Helen's took back, uh, stood up and taken a photo of us working. We're at the Littleton Coffee Co. Company in Littleton, which is uh, just outside of Christchurch. Uh, It's a port. Uh, It's a beautiful place to spend a Sunday afternoon or even during the week to get away from the office. So here's how I started it. It says, don't you enjoy waking up with no alarm clock, no appointments, no need to be anywhere or do anything? And that's how I felt when I woke up last Sunday morning. Imagine living your life that every day was Sunday. The question is, do you think you would accomplish as much as you do if that was reality, every day being Sunday? So I've been employed for over 25 years and I don't really feel like I work because I'm doing stuff I am passionate about. And if it was reality that you found yourself working on Sunday, not realizing it, isn't that what it's really all about? When you're working and you're not realizing that you actually are making money, even if it is on a Sunday. There's no such thing as Sunday-itis in my life. So COVID has really been a blessing in disguise in some ways. It has really made us think differently especially when it comes to the way that we work. So a high percentage of us now are actually working from home. So distinguishing, I'm not saying my words very good today, distinguishing, I can't even say it when I slow down, the difference between work and life is becoming more and more difficult. We all learn from each other. Some people struggle to work from home and others people struggle to work from the office, which is a new thing that we haven't really had to contend with. Some of the advantages of working from home. You don't need to prepare your lunch. You can save money on office rental. You can even claim some of your expenses back. You can justify a coffee machine in your home. And the office commute is merely a few footsteps. Some of the disadvantages that I have found from working from home. Cabin fever. Motivation. No sense of direction. Human contact. And, of course working all hours. So what I want to do with this blog, podcast, and also YouTube um, video is discuss some of the things that I've learned over the years that has helped me be productive and accountable. Of course, I could give you a lecture about setting goals and making sure you're accountable to achieve your tasks. But I'm pretty sure you could probably go download an audio book or a book and learn all about that yourself. However, in saying that, I set goals for myself every day. And my only real goal is to just make sure I accomplish one of those goals before I go to bed at night. Otherwise, I have trouble sleeping. So a a snippet, not in the blog, I listened to once and this guy said, rather than having a great big massive to-do list that you never do, just put five things on your to-do list before you go to bed. 
This way you can wake up and actually have a sense of purpose. And I think that is a really, really good idea. I believe you need to move forward. If you're staying in the same place, you haven't ever, um, haven't actually accomplished anything. So I don't know about you guys, but a lot of people I talk to who work from home work from a bedroom. Well, Helen and I, we work from the living room rather than the spare bedroom. I feel there's more energy, more feng shui, if you want to say it that way, in the living room. And the bedroom just gives me four walls and normally a window. My partner also works for herself, uh, and she works from the living space with me. So I get the human interaction from her. Now, if you followed Helen and I on social media, you would probably think we spend all our lives visiting cafes around the town. However, the reality is... Um, <clears throat> when you work from home, you need a change of scenery. So what we do is we pick up our laptops and we go to a cafe and we work until the batteries go dry and then we go home. And the reason why this works for us is we save a lot of the administration tasks that you need to do when running a business, um, like our admin stuff. And we leave the big tasks when we get back to the office, you know, like producing a workshop or doing a podcast or accessing hard drives for editing photos. Just imagine going to a cafe with all your gear <laughs> and moving in. I think they'd ask you to leave. So we just do meaningless, what well, I call the meaningless tasks on our laptops when we're out and about until our battery goes flat. So when you, <clears throat> so when you're a small, um, so I'm a small to medium sized business and I do live life as a serial entrepreneur and I help a lot of people um, run and set up their businesses as well. And when you're doing this, you really need a good mindset. So I have found that my thoughts flow into my brain at unusual times. And I'm most creative when I'm actually working from a cafe or the living room space without having interruptions from my colleagues. Um, and also I can feel I can express myself uh, more freely. For example, I'm standing in front of my office desk now doing this podcast. I just don't think my office workers would like me doing that. So I have the freedom to be myself and talk however I want without feeling people are listening on. Working with your partner may not be everyone's cup of tea. So how we manage this, we do other activities that we're both passionate about outside of work. For example, we enjoy health and fitness. So at least two or three times each week, we both go out for a 5k run and a 10k hike, normally on a Sunday. This keeps us sane. Working for yourself is actually all about mindset, to be honest. I'm going to say that again. Working for yourself is about mindset. You've got to have a good mindset. This is a number one priority. If you're not in the right frame of mind, you simply cannot perform. Health and fitness has become the thing that we have done that helps us uh, achieve a good mindset. We have to reinvent ourselves, and it's not as easy as it sounds, especially at the moment. Uh, I used to have a business networking company, and I used to run meetings all around town from Tuesday to Friday. And now I was trying to run my meetings over Zoom. It didn't work, so I had to reinvent the way that I ran my, and made my income. I believe it's a miracle that we've even got through to the end of the year. And I have to laugh at myself and pat my partner on the back. We actually have made it. And we've done reasonably well for a couple that had to totally rethink our business structure. And I'm wondering if you are thinking the same as you are listening to this. I truly believe it's madness hoping for different results when you continue doing the same old thing. I believe you need to embrace change. You need to rethink different. You need to apply yourself, set goals, make yourself accountable to your friends and family. Right now, more than ever, we need to have good relationships in our lives. We need to be empathetic. We need to be open-minded and, of course, love each other. Why not? And here's a snippet I'm wondering if you're wondering how we do things. So this very blog I composed using voice recognition, and now I'm doing it as a podcast and a video for YouTube as well. It was composed at 12.34, well, I finished composing it at 12.34 on Sunday afternoon. And when I did it, I just jumped out of the shower and I thought to myself, I love Sundays and I had to share it with others. So I grabbed my phone and I voiced or well, wrote this blog into my phone. And then, and then that was the end of my blog and I said, I shall now get dressed and go downstairs, make Helen a gluten-free pancake um, 
and enjoy every day as if as if it was Sunday. So my goal of the blog, what was my purpose of wanting to write and share this blog? Well, my goal was to inspire somebody who might be searching around on Google, found me on social media, they may check out my website, and they may invest in one of my online workshops, or they may hire Helen to do some personal branding photography, because that's what we do. So I provide educational training to help you survive and thrive in business. And I'm continuously producing workshops of value to help people get the best out of technology. Well, that is my short but precise podcast, my YouTube video. So thank you for watching. And if you are on any of those channels, as the people say all the time when I'm watching them, please subscribe, leave a comment, as it will inspire me to do others. And you have a great, wonderful day. Thanks for listening. I'm What to Heck from What to Heck Podcast. And I'll play my music and let it fade out naturally with my beautiful Zoom PodTrack P8. Have a great day.